So I made another comp around Gwen, um, and it's not something that I haven't done before. Uh, but this time I wanted to do specifically Sugarcraft Warriors, so we're gonna have four Sugarcrafts and four Warriors. Uh, we're gonna end up with items on both Gwen, Fiora, and Katarina. Um, uh, we have two magic fighters and one attack fighter. Um, and since we are all also gonna hit three fairies and two witchcrafts, it makes sense to uh, to get items for those champions as well. Um, I don't exactly remember the strategy behind this. I think it's something with giving Nyla uh, attack fighter uh, items first thing. So I'm probably gonna look for something like Bloodthirster. Um, by the way, if you see a shapeshifter emblem, pick that and go eight shape shapeshifters. Then you're just gonna instantly win if you play correctly. Um, it's probably the comp that I work. Ooh. Yeah, I remember taking Seeker's Arm God because I thought that would be really good with uh, with Gwen. So I decided to to try with that. It increases ability power and armor. Um, so I was like, hey, I'm going to try this, see how it works. And it ended up being pretty good, actually. Uh, Talisman of Ascension is almost always first pick for me. But this time around, I just felt like I wanted to try something different. Am I using Elise as my magic fighter um, until until Gwen comes around? It may look like it. I don't remember if Elise was in the actual comp. I need to pay attention to that. But yeah, it's built up around pretty much only attack fighters and I magic fighters, since you're gonna have um, the four warriors. What I would prefer on Gwen is probably. Either Archangel Staff or Jewel Gauntlet. One of oh my god, I keep hitting my microphone. One of the two, along with uh, Titan's Resolve and then Bloodthirster. I think those would be my three go-to items on Gwen, which means I should I should pick the sword here so that I can do Bloodthirster. And final, uh, either a glove or a tear is probably what we're looking for uh, to pair with the... What am I doing? Okay, okay, so... Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. So I'm using Katarina as the temporary champion here for... Um, until I find the Gwen. She works well with the same types of items. Alt. Nice. Oh, a little bit too late. A little bit too late. We still got it though. <laughs> we still got it. So I haven't really done a full Katarina carry yet. Maybe that could be fun trying a fairy. Some type of fairy. Wait, if I go fairy warriors, five fairies, can I go five fairies and four warriors? Too 
And what if then I go with the fairy armor, right? like the queen's armor on her, along with Archangel staff and along with Bloodthirster or Hand of Justice. And then I can do 80 items on maybe a Callista. Because those damage would heal my Katarina. This way my Katarina slowly builds up damage and is pretty much unkillable. That's an idea. That's an idea for a future video. Although, set 13 is gonna come out soon. So I'm, I'm probably not gonna have the time to do that. It's something that I haven't done, so if I can make the time before the, the, the new set comes out, I will definitely do it. Already now, it does not seem too bad. My joy endures. My joy endures. But initially, you want to go for attack fighter items for Nyla, first thing. So, something like uh, Titans of Soul, Bloodthirster, and Hand of Justice. Those types of items, because those work well with both Katarina, all the warriors, basically. All the attack fighters. Doesn't matter if they're magic or uh, attack power. Attack damage. That's what it's called. I can reveal that I did not hit a first place with this come. I only hit a second place. But it still worked. I mean, I think this was the first time I tried this. Um, and I really enjoy playing Gwen. I enjoy playing everything that stacks damage, and Gwen definitely does that. So as long as you can get a lot of Omni Bomb on her then everything's good. Yeah, probably looking for a Bloodthirster to pair with a sword. Man, I'm getting pretty hooked on Fairy Warriors. Have to see if I can make the time to do that. Make the strongest Katarina the world has, the world has ever seen. And I guess most people would do the uh, the regular fairy item, but I think it could actually be fun to give her the tang item, so she's more like unkillable, and that she can stack damage with something like Archangel Staff instead. And you're just gonna have a Callista in the background hitting uh, and healing, healing the so the Katarina. So here we hit the three fairies. That was an early Emilio. Fairies Queen's Crown, that's what it's called. Cause sure, it would make sense to give that to Kalis uh, sorry, Katarina in a cup like that. I should transfer it to Katarina once I find the Gwen or um, Fiora. I also faced this one guy who had six warriors and he turned a briar into a warrior that was just unkillable. Unkillable. So if you do get a warrior emblem, briar is not a bad way to go.
some bloodthirsty across there. Now it's here for the glove, so that I can do hand adjusters. Yeah, my Karina just does not die. Does he die now? Yeah, he does. Can I beat this? Oh, come on, man. Kill it. No, it was... <laughs> that was close. That was really close. Pretty much couldn't have gone, gotten any closer than that. I have the Fiora. Hmm. Why do I have the Soraka there? Is Soraka a part of this comp? Probably, yeah, because I do need the four sugar crafts. in collecting more um, rockets there doesn't make too much sense now as you can see adding a Gwen will complete the both uh, both the sugar craft and the warrior traits so that I get four of each so that is definitely what we're searching for here and we do get the tears so we can do hand of justice on the Nyla, uh, and those items should go to Fiora instead. So I should just give it. Yeah, I could have just given it to Fiora. I should do magnetic remover on the Nyla and give those items to Fiora. I could be just um, uh, trying to two-star Fiora first. I don't know. Uh, the two-star Nyla could be better. Katarina does a decent amount of damage. Let's go. Let's go. 5k Katarina, 4.5k Nyla. Uh, Fiora did 1k. <laughs> also, I don't have the witchcraft trait yet. Um, that comes from... Oh, well, let me see. Yeah, I guess our Gangel staff is fine. Okay for Milio. Here is the Gwen. Uh, yeah, that's better right now. Here goes the items. Perfect, now we just need to two-star it. Um, but also, I still want to itemize Katarina. Maybe it was... I should have actually waited, kept them on the Katarina for a little bit longer until I 2-star the Gwen because... As you can see, my Gwen is still a little too weak here. Yeah. I think it might have been a mistake to swap the items so soon. I should have waited. Now we're gonna add the Fiora. No. I should be adding the Fiora first. For the fourth warrior.
It, it should be pretty simple. I should save the Morgana for a level 10. Especially now that I have a two-star okay. Fiora. Come on, man. Pay attention. Swap the... It's still a swap. It's... I would say it's the wrong swap. Or maybe not, actually. It's still fine. Maybe, maybe that is actually better. It had to be swapped, though. Yeah, go with some Katarina items now. Hand of Justice, Katarina, not bad. Yup. And here, my Fiora does 6k. We have a 5k Gwen. And we have a 3k Dragon. <laughs> Now Tristana is just gonna fulfill the fairy blasters. I should actually not go for a an item for Katarina because she should just have the fairy queen's crown. Uh, so here I should maybe go with Crown God for Morgana or uh, Onyx Spot. Okay, yeah, I should have given it to Morgana though. Um, yeah. Yeah, I should have definitely given it to him again. Yeah. Because level 10, I'm gonna get the, the crown. One more Katarina. Am I gonna get a 3-star Katarina here? I don't even remember. But my Katarina is dealing quite a bit of damage. Nice. 11.5k Gwen. This is why I like Gwen. This is why I like Gwen. 6.5k Fiora. And now here goes the Tristana. And the, as you can see, this is the final comp. And now I really only have Melio or Tristana to give the Fairy Queen's crown to. And that should have been preferably... Um, okay, now we get the 2-star Gwen. What a delight! What a delight! <laughs> Was that Morgana laughing? Could have been. Uh... What would I do here? Morello on Morgana? Deathblade for who? Deathblade for who? Why would I pick Deathblade? Sure, but I still don't know why I would pick Deathblade. Oh, I was gonna reforge it no matter what? Okay. Then it doesn't matter. If I was in my mind, I don't want any of these items, I'm gonna reforge it no matter what. Then sure. Okay, he has a 3-star Hecarim. Uh, with multi -stri 7 multi-strikers. I can see why I don't beat him. I can see why I don't. Uh, Spirit showed him on the Melio, definitely. Probably with just... Uh, yeah, go Jewel Gauntlet. Let me see, what am I thinking about here? Now I do it. But... I'm kind of too slow. I'm forgetting the... Um, the refreshes here. Wouldn't have changed anything though. I don't know, I still have refreshes to spare, to spare, so... Yeah, he was obviously too strong. He was too strong. But, 
this comp is still fine. And the second place.